Yes guys, hello, welcome back to the channel. This is the EOSWriter.io. Um, like I always say, subscribe to the channel, like the channel if you want to keep up with the latest EOS news. Uh, and today we've got a very special guest on the call. You can't actually see him, but we've got him on the on the line. We have Chris um, Daw from Effect.ia. He's going to be joining us for the weekly news update. How are you doing, Chris? You okay? Fantastic, Max Dapp. Very happy to be here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, <laughs> yeah, very excited to go over the news. Awesome, man. Well, you're kind of acting as God because no one can see you, but you're coming down from heaven. So <laughs> we're going to oh, we're going to oh, roll with oh, it. Oh, oh. So we'll start with the first news. Um, let's go for it. So Dan Larimer did a tweet. I think it's a tweet or, or a telegram. And he said, hope at least to see a parallel election carried out by EOS IO in 2020. Like, what do you think about that, Chris? Provably, provably fair and and um, uh, allowing people to to engage in a fair manner, I think, is a, a cool way to show um, the government how things should be done. Um, I didn't mm. read too much about it or, or I don't know the exact context, but yeah, listen, we, we know that blockchain technology can definitely change voting systems to, to make them more fair um, and more transparent. So sounds good to me. 100%. Like we don't, at the moment we can't even, like think about it, at the moment if you vote in an election anywhere in the world, you can't even actually validate whether it went through or not. <laughs> like it, it's actually it's, quite it's amazing. It's crazy, right? I don't know if you've seen the, the footage of, of the women counting the votes out of the boxes in, in the Russian uh, uh, election, but they put a balloon up in front of the camera and then who knows what's going on, you know? It's, it's, it's a dinosaur age thing that needs to be digitized and, and provably fair and mm. yeah. Yeah, I mentioned actually, I did a video on it, I'm going to release it today, but it's about what Dan Larimer's creation, it was called Follow My, Follow My Vote a long time ago, but we won't go into that, it's more like speculation, but Okay, let's let's move on to the next news story. We want to whiz through this, uh, make sure it's all quick. So we are going to talk about DSPs. So there was a new video which um, EOS Weekly did, and it's about DSPs. I highly recommend watching it. Uh, and DSPs is DAP service providers. We need them on EOS. Actually, it's EOS is probably one of the first ecosystems to have them. You know, Ethereum and Tron will probably integrate this in the future to get more scalable solutions. But it's it's really exciting because there's one called Eclipse, which has just come out. Uh, Dice dot one are going to be using it for free transactions, free this, no CPU, all that great stuff. But it's a big deal. Like, what do you think, Chris? DP, um, you know, DSPs. What's going on? What do you know? Yeah, absolutely incredible. First of all, the team over at Liquid DApps are amazing. I actually reached out to them before we announced anything um, uh, about our migration of our entire network over to the EOS uh, IO uh, software. And it was a big deciding factor. This is going to open up mass adoption for people. I think a lot of people don't get it, but that video, I don't get to see there? too much in the ecosystem because there's so much going on. And obviously we're running our own thing and we're, we're getting ready for a token swap over to EOS. But I did happen to watch this video. They illustrated how Effect.ai uh, could possibly use a DSP and they nailed it. So um, really, really huge development here. Uh, the Liquid Apps team have a proven track history. Uh, I think it's going to be huge. Awesome, man. All right. Technical issues, but we're all good. So next thing, um, this is massive news, right? So ETH, well, sorry, not Ethereum. What about Ethereum for? <laughs> that's, that's a different, that's a different news show. Uh, EOS. So we did 33 million transactions in one day. Actually, sorry, not transactions. We did 33 million operations in one day. And like I've already on my other video, I'm going to release today, I speculated on what that could be from, you know, potentially block one, uh, st uh, you know, stress testing the network uh, for their launch or their social media launch. Or there could be a, a new DAP. I won't. I won't say what the DAP is now in my other video. Check it out. Uh, which could be doing that as well. But it's crazy. Like 83 million transactions in one day. Uh, sorry, operations. I'm thinking that there's probably there's probably transactions which have multiple operations within them, and it's done. You know, I'll put a graph on the screen now. But EOS has done more than every other record of every other chain combined and 5x that. So if you if you take every other every other single chain, take all their records. EOS did five times the amount. Like, what do you what do you think is the reason for that, Chris? Thanks, Dan Larimer. Uh, it, it's absolutely incredible. I don't know the reason. I I, I can speculate all kinds of stuff, but there mm. is one thing for sure: <clears throat> it's being used. Um, that's why mm. we have these these uh, transactions and and uh, so. Yeah, listen, I, I've said it before. My first Bitcoin meetup was about four and a half years ago. And there was a few guys saying how this thing is going to scale up and be adopted by millions. And I just could not see that vision happening within, you know, the, the time span that these guys were talking about. And then fast mm -hmm. forward just a few years and, and then you have a, a, 
a blockchain like EOS that, that is doing this kind of volume, um, it's the most inspiring thing ever. We're, we're, we're at the breakthrough point of, of opening up the floodgates for everybody to use this stuff. So it's functioning, it's <coughs> scalable, you can use it, get on board. It's crazy, like 83 million operations. It's just like mind blowing. And like, I think even a few months ago, I don't think anyone would have thought EOS could have done that. And we've got all these scalable solutions, well, all of these upgrades happening all the time, which people don't realize like Ethereum hasn't had an upgrade in like years, like yeah, literally years. It hasn't got any faster or any slower in years. It hasn't changed in years, but EOS can just evolve so quickly. Like if we're moving this speed now and we have the developers we have in EOS now, imagine what it's going to be when we onboard like a whole other wave of developers. It's just mind blowing, bro. I 100% agree with you. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Let's, we'll whiz through this. So we just want to make it 10 minutes. So the next, another another tweet. Okay, so this is kind of just a question for you, Chris. Like, I think people will be interested to hear your, your point of view on this. So I'm not from obviously American, but like Dan Larimer asked in a tweet, he said, how far do you think a libertarian candidate with a billion dollars of crypto would get in an election in the USA? I'm obviously on, this, on the fence of that. What do you think of the USA? Do you think they, it could happen in the next 10 years? Wow. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I, I haven't been following uh, the Dan Larimer tweets uh, so much, so <laughs> that, that's really fun to, to think about. Um, yeah, listen, there is a massive change in, in humanity right now. We're opening up doors that have never been opened before, and the inclusion um, that, that this is producing already is mind-boggling. And just to be at the forefront of that inclusion, to, to allow people to come in and, and really speak their minds and be part of something, um, I, I think is absolutely huge. So um, I'm also on the fence uh, about a billion dollars in crypto, but I, I think that we're at the right times right now to, to see some big shifts. Yeah, well, I think it's just, there's a lot of talk at the moment about 2020 election. I don't know. It's, I think it's because of uh, Dan Larimer's tweets, obviously, stir it up. But like looking at the way the structure is at the moment, it's like, you know, you have your presidential candidate, say Trump, he gets in, he has four years and that's kind of it. Like no one can do anything <laughs> for four years. But then you've got these like sort of blockchain governance systems, which EOS can provide, which at the moment we have like our referendum system, all this kind of stuff. I think it's just like a matter of time before blockchain is integrated into, into Washington, really. And also Dan's been talking in Washington. So it's like the first step is like building the, the, this infrastructure. Then we're going to go into the the kind of you know building the dApps, the cool games and that kind of stuff and then it's going to be government bro like it's it's mind-blowing to me it, it'll trickle into every industry uh it'll trickle into absolutely everything you know and and it looks like it's exponential growth time so it looks like of, of course we talk about you know blockchain technologies and new technologies first the criminals pick them up and then maybe you know in this case gaming and and those kind of things but you, you can see the adoption uh, quickly growing across many different industries. Uh, here in Amsterdam, there's all kinds of different initiatives and, and projects and companies building out these, these decentralized systems and using blockchain technology to manage them in all kinds of different industries. So uh, the, the future is a lot of fun. It's crazy, man. I'm so excited. We're, we're halfway through April, dude. And, you know, we're almost at June. Obviously, June is probably going to be like a huge announcement, but it might not be as like the thing about announcements. They always like they're big, but they don't really move the market straight away. It might take a few years. But anyway, so let's have a look. Let's move on to the next thing. So we've got another we've got another tweet. Um, this is kind of like the scalability thing. So like it's another tweet, but we'll go for it. So what if Bitcoin could flow onto EOS and transact nearly free and nearly instantly? while becoming programmable and scalable. So like, obviously this is just going back to like the whole scalability kind of value proposition of EOS. Like, do you think, I, I personally, I think it can happen, definitely. I think that instead of having the Loom network and all these things, I think Bitcoin could go, you know, be the store of value. If you want to keep your Bitcoin in the legacy chain, fine, hold it on, hold it on the legacy chain. Don't worry about it. Just leave it on the, leave it on the blockchain. But if you want to actually use Bitcoin as cash, instead of having Bitcoin cash, why not just have a virtual version of your Bitcoin on EOS? Because think about it, EOS is going to scale way, EOS is doing 30, you know, 83 million transactions or operations, whatever you want to call it. Like, what's your view on it? I think this could definitely happen. And what do you think the implications of that are if you can have fast, scalable Bitcoin, but have two different types? Well, was that not always like the dream? You know, you had all yeah. of these very bright minds working on the scalability factors of Bitcoin and it stalled years ago. Um, it's the most disappointing thing ever. What attracted me to it is that you could send millions of dollars worth of value for pennies and now it's gotten into 
um, mining costs and, and, uh, and all of these different uh, things, and there's not too many developments. So of course, the, the ultimate goal was to turn this into a digital currency that could be used by the masses and at scale um, to compete with, with uh, these broken systems like, like banks mm. and Visa and government, you know? So yeah. um, I, I would love to see something happen there. So, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Maybe even compete with gold. That's the thing. Like, what I've been saying recently is like money has to have, to, for, for money to be good at money, <laughs> it has to have the same properties of gold because gold has shown that it's been good money for thousands of years, right? So gold's good money, but the blockchain allows us to program the properties of gold into something which has the portability of cash. So that's the that's the killer that's the killer thing with money. If we can get Bitcoin to then run on EOS, but still have like the security of the Bitcoin chain because it's the longest chain and everything. But then if you wanted to, you can move it around like cash. I, literally, it's going to change everything. I think like oh my god, it's just such a big deal. It only makes but, sense, right? I, I'm not carrying around it, uh, a gold yeah. bar to go buy some stuff, right? So this, this yeah, yeah, exactly, this exactly. My, my iPhone or my Samsung Galaxy that that's able to do the transactions instead of lugging around my gold. So yeah. Mm. And we talk about anyway. It, we could both rant about this for ages. We're both on exactly the same wavelength. We we kind of spew each other on with this like excitement factor. But <laughs> anyway, <let's, laughs> we'll move on to the next thing. So um chintai so i don't know how familiar you are with chintai you probably know all about it but like so they've just released their platform uh 2.0 and they've got the checks token um yeah I, I, you know where do you think the place for chintai is going to be with leasing tokens because we've got rex coming out soon hopefully that's still taking quite a long time but what's your kind of view on chintai yeah i think you're gonna have to tell me uh, i'm not familiar with the project <laughs> and uh that's just because we're uncovering so much stuff in this ecosystem we were excited mm. about eos um at the beginning but now coming on board there is so much going on way more than anybody on the outside could even fathom you you, you just do not know the tip of the iceberg is what you kind of see and you read but then you start connecting with all these other projects what's really happening with um uh, with all the block producers and how that whole system works and how the blockchain works and the speed and, and everything else. Uh, but I'm not familiar mm. with Shun, uh, Shintai. Okay, no worries. Well, it's just like a leasing platform similar to Rex, but like a third party arm. But um, yeah, no, all cool stuff. We'll, we'll whisk through how long we've been going now for probably about 10 minutes. Let's just let's wrap it up with something cool. So, uh, well, the last thing on the list is I did a video about no tax blockchain government but we just spoke about government like is there anything you want to talk about what's what's cool for you this week chris uh yeah i'm going to say that the dsp network uh, i'm a big fan of um for for me we're building out some pretty cool features so we do our token swap at the end of the month from our our neo um token to to the new eos token so we're really hard at work building Sweet. that but we're building a, a smart contract um that might be pretty surprising to a few people um and, and there'll be more on that uh, in the future. So that, that's internally, we're working on uh, some of the, the things you can do with the EOS uh, smart contracts and some of the development tools uh, create all kinds of cool possibilities that our dev team are working on. Um, so that's really exciting exploring that, that side of things. Um, what else yep. is going on in the space right now? And um, yeah, well, just to, just to wrap it up. So obviously we've seen a lot of price gains as well. Like EOS has been killing it. We, we almost broke $6 and the $6 mark um, you know, with technical analysis means we actually have completely retraced from that the dive we had. And EOS is obviously, or not obviously, but EOS has retraced a lot faster than most other projects. Like Ethereum's done quite, quite well, Tron as well. Bitcoin hasn't done very well. And then obviously the ICO projects are still way down. But like, um, yeah, what do you think? So EOS, in my opinion, it stayed relatively more valuable because there's so much more utility in there like i don't know how much you do trading or technicals but what do you think do you think this is the beginning of the bull market like for bitcoin so listen i used to trade quite a bit and and a lot of this this the ecosystem of of different products and, and different coins and, and different dApps out there um it doesn't make any sense um, EOS, if you lo look into it and you dive into it and you look at the history of Dan Laramie, you look at the forward thinking of Brendan Bloomer, um, it really should be ranking a lot higher than what it is. But then you can look at a whole bunch of other technical analysis on coins and stuff like that. And it's really just the movement of money and flow into these different projects and stuff. Um, it, it's hard to gauge, but I will tell you this, that I have never been so bullish on anything, uh, never mind stock market or, or 
um, anything more than I am with EOS. Uh, like, listen, and I don't want to sound like the fanboy because I just came over from Neo. I'm a blockchain, <laughs> ag a blockchain agnostic to, to, to a fault, but I'll tell you, I cannot believe how much stuff is going on here in EOS with all of these different uh, teams of people building stuff from EOS New York and EOS Nation and, and obviously the guys from Liquid Dapp and all of these people. Um, yeah, if you want to make a safe, safe bet, I think EOS is a, a very easy thing. And anybody that's going to look mm -hmm. into it for a half a second is going to realize that this is probably a very, very good place to place their money. So I think we, we will exactly. continue to be ahead of the game uh, constantly and always, regardless of bull market or not. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yeah, you're exactly right. Because the thing is about blockchains different to business, which we've seen in the past like hundred years. Like you know, pretend like before it was just about how much money you had, the the amount of people you could pay to build your business, right? But now it's not really about that because the kind of profit in the business is kind of dis is changing, right? So it's it's more about the the community. And the thing about all these blockchains, whatever these blockchain are, whatever consensus algorithm they use, whatever it is, like if the community is good enough eventually they will solve the problems which are within their chain and like that's what you have to say like you know people can bash eos saying oh it's not decentralized enough people can bash tron saying they use you know the, the, the delegated proof of stake isn't fast enough whatever but it doesn't really actually matter like as long as the community is good enough and really passionate about that chain they're going to solve those issues anyway so it's like um it's like you know we didn't have to use https for the internet we could have used something else it is it would the other thing would have worked it just would have been a different route to whatever we were aiming for so yeah i think you're exactly right and like to any obviously we'll wrap it up now but yeah anyone who's uh watching the news channel we're going to get more guests on. We're going to do more like this. We'll get Chris on again. But yeah, definitely check out like just the, it's the EOS community, bro. And like we're, you, you come over from Neo, you're seeing more and more projects coming over. It's just exciting, man. Like what else? Do you want to add anything for the end? So we're just kicking off. Listen, man, first of all, the community over at EOS is, is off the chain. I've never seen anything so healthy and, and so active. It's absolutely incredible. Um, so, so that's very exciting. And then Effect.ai has one of the greatest communities as well. So to be able to, to interconnect our community with the EOS community, um, only good things are coming. So uh, I've never Sweet. been so excited about anything. I, I lost a little bit of faith with communities and stuff when I was over on the dark side over at NEO. I've never been <laughs> so excited now to find a tribe that, that just is forward thinking um, and, and putting everything on the line to make things better, communications, community, that's, that's the game. So yeah, fun times. Wicked, man. All right, it's great to have you on, Chris, again. We've had you on the show already once or twice, so they, uh, maybe once or twice, yeah. But great to have you on, dude. We'll do it again. This is the EOS Week, well, this is the EOS Writer Weekly News Channel. We're gonna do it with guests now because you know we wanna spice it up a little bit, get more people's opinions on. We'll definitely get Chris back on. He's a great guy. He's got good insight into what he's doing. And yeah, guys, like I always say, like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you want to keep getting this kind of content, or subscribe to the EOS Writer. You can go on all the other channels as well. I'll leave, all the links will be in the description. But yeah, guys, we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye. See ya.